Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Peru, Bolivia, here in the year 1880. It is the 23rd. We have the Catholic Church, the armed forces. We are a Catessa government with 52% uh, approval. We have the engines of progress, right? Behold the marvels of the modern age. There is no time for hesitation if it can be thought, designed, and patented. It should be built, tested, and put to immediate use. We also have a veteran consultation modifier from the armed forces. Family ties, which gives us plus 10 influence from the landowners. Plus 10 bureaucracy due to the petite bourgeoisie like it does. Plus 20% authority due to divide right from the Catholic Church. Uh, the aristocrats investment pool, plus 10%. Negative 10% load interest because of the petite bourgeoisie and a 5% birth rate from the Catholic Church, like he does. We do have 80, negative 86.6 bureaucracy. Uh, we do have, again, a lot of fabric. We have a decent amount of coal, a little bit of iron, a little bit of fertilizer, so coffee, a few clippers. We have a little bit of steel, a little bit of hardwood, a little bit of meat. Uh, we have no lumber, no services, no clothes, no furniture. Grain, uh, luxury furniture, luxury clothing, fruit, small arms, and tools are all in the negative. We are making about 7,500 pounds a week. We have 112,000 loyalists, 640,000 radicals, 5. Point, well, we'll call it 5 and a quarter million, 11.4 standard of living, 39 and a half. We'll call it literacy and a GDP of 7 million. Our investment people are working on sugar plantations. We are working on building up an iron mine. Even though apparently we have a decent amount of iron already. So what would be our next building? To build a... You know what then? If we could do that... Let us... Where'd my... There it is, the chemical plant, sorry. Created and started to improve our natural, uh, mutual relations, which are currently neutral. Their attitude towards us is positive. They probably are going to want to take out our debt or have us become subjugated to them as well. So, we are going to try to build a chemical plant at Ica, <clears throat> which will help with the fertilizer. Ramon Sotomayor, leader of the Petit Bourgeoisie, has died slash retired. And the reason we're doing that, as the sulfur mines are going to take about 54 weeks, we did go to iron buildings, which has improved our construction capacity to 15 in the last episode. But the reason we're doing and I don't know why are we... Our standard of living is increasing. We used to be at like 11.3, we're at 11.4. Um, Ecuador wish. Ooh, this is the first for me. Ecuador wishes to join our customs union. If we accept, their states will be able to join our markets. Well, yes. I've never had a country wish to join my customs union before. Uh, that is cool. And blue supply network has been added to the journal. Increase your supply of codroys by a healthy margin. Yeah, okay. Uh... The immigration in Alto Paraguay from 100,000 to 108,000. We are currently at 1.63, 1.67 now. So it is it is increasing. So so that that mission should be accomplished. Chile is still at war with the uh, South Nam. Um, we're not we're allied to Chile. We're not really participating in that war though. I mean, our allies really should not need our help in that in that conflict. So, with the increase in sulfur, we'll be able to create, and then the chemical plant will be able to create fertilizer. Now, the fertilizer will come into factor when it comes into producing of the grain. Oh, there we are. Now we're negative 32 for iron. That makes more sense. Um, I was a little confused as to how all of a sudden we were you know, positive in the iron. Um, yeah, because we have a steel factory, and then we're also using the wrought iron buildings. They do want us to get 
railways going as well, which I think is a little bit um, optimistic. I, I mean, I definitely want railways to get going, yes, but at the same time, I feel like, y y you know, we have enough uh, buildings and needs that are um, more important. So if we look at our markets, all right, the Peruvian, Bolivian market, okay, now incorporates Ecuador. Um... So we now have, okay, so we have more, right, because they're part of our market now, so we have less of a need of wood, but we have, we have more of a need of iron. We do have a lot of sugar, though. Any, anywhere we can export sugar, then we have negative 90 bureaucracy, so, okay, so we can export sugar here. Um, we'll pause. So it's a level two uh, units of sugar exported 18, 203 after tariffs, 14.1 employee annually. It'll raise our price of sugar in our market by five. And we're at plus 47 sugar. So we will do that. Um, we'll need 10 convoys. We have that. And it would also, we could also ship some to the Confederacy, so we'll do that. Alright, we'll, we'll, that will change our sugar um, cost, right? Contested government, low markets, access, and Bolivian, Peruvian, Bolivia, UJ. It's because we have the... Um, iron mines, and we have exceeded the capacity. Austria lost their interest in the Andes. We're no longer to conclude diplomacy with them. Where else could we have iron mines? In Tarapaca, 14,000 peasants. Alright, we can build another iron mine there. Where was that iron mine that we were building? In Araquipa, okay. So... Um, I don't know why they are discrimination. I, I, I just don't know why they, Spain and Portugal are now rivals. I mean, I know we are a... What is it? Um, right? We, we have racial segregation. Right? Poor cultures of different heritage are discriminated against. But... I don't feel like right, national supremacy would give us a foreign culture to discriminate against us. They both share heritage and language. Um, you know, pushes the discrimination higher. I don't want to do that. We're already getting more than I want in terms of that. Um, We have 32 weeks remaining for the sulfur mine. Again, the main goal of what we're doing right now... Um, we're currently at three and a half thousand, let's call it. You know, so we're definitely going to complete the increase in population. Spain and Portugal are no longer rivals. Enact restricted child labor. Who dislikes us? The industrialists. Okay. Um, no child is permitted on the factory floor. Twenty-five percent chance every day. You know what? I am. I will. I will. I will support that. Children should not be working. It, it does irritate the industrialists, but they're not part of the government, right? And while we are working on becoming an industrial country, I guess the bureaucracy is just insane. Um, I 
So yeah, apparently, again, I thought incorporating the states would be a good decision. It seems to just cause more and more bureaucracy. What are we we're doing? Modern nursing, which I think is a society thing. Uh, or is it military? I'm guessing it's got to be a military. But yep. By using techniques such as hand washing and bedside care, nurses are able to reduce the amount of fatalities a considerable amount. Field hospitals for barracks and field hospitals for the conscription. Yeah, conscription center. We are going to do philosophical pragmatism, which will be the application and actions of philosophical thought or it can open up whole new avenues for social political analysis. Our analysis, it'll give us plus 10% influence and negative 5% the population cost multiplier for bureaucracy. To be honest, that's the main reason why I'm doing that. Although we do have the electric telegraph is also spreading. We're about five months away from the sulfur mine being completed. The one thing I, I do dislike is that it just... does not seem to transition to the next song as smoothly as it should. Again, that's a, that's a relatively minor complaint, I know, but it, it's still a complaint of mine. So we still have really cheap sugar, preserved child labor, as form. Their support is 33 and radicalism is dead. No, you can't take the children from me. We had, we're back up to having plus 17 iron, so I... You know, I, I just not sure. You know that I need the iron then. Um, for example, if I go down here though to a a rice farm, I can go here to fertilize. We'll, we'll need ten more fertilizer, but we will produce thirty-five more grain. But we'll try to do that in the pause, but again, <clears throat> this is going to... to put the demand for fertilizer very, very high. Which is why we're building the, uh, the sulfur mine. And to be honest, once we... okay, buildings, right? Actually, yep. We're gonna do some... I don't think we need sugar. We'll get rid of that one. We're going to build our first food industry in Lima. Actually, we'll put it... Ah! There we go. There. So we'll go sulfur mine chemical plant food industry. We'll bring the banana up because that's going to be fruit. Right, because we're a little bit short on fruit. I mean, again, we're short on a lot of things, but... The good news is... Large numbers of Platinian people have begun migrating from Uruguay to La Paz and the surrounding states. Uruguay. Why are you going all the way up here? I mean, again, 1.76 billion migration plus 13.3. Lima, we have a migration of 3.27, population growth, right? Can we... Okay, we can't, we can already not do that. Um... Okay, so what we might do... Well, we only have 100 authority, though. Good lord! Stop! From an unfulfilled political movement, 21,000 from discrimination. Um, uh, 
There's a Garani. We're in turmoil. We're going to promote our national values, which will cost 100 authority. Um, and promote assimilation, increased culture, assimilation, religious conversion rates. Um, so we have restricted our child labor laws, plus 2% mortality of farmers, laborers, and peasants. 50% dependents income, one max education, and institutional investment. No child is permitted on the factory floor. I just, I'm, I'm not in favor, obviously, of child labor, so... You know, we're not we're not necessarily going to be some massive, you know, liberal bash shit out here in Peru, Bolivia. But at the same time, why will they not? They they don't want to join our customs union yet. Um, our relations with A. Tiora can no longer be activated. Let's go over here and see. Uh, yeah, I don't think our colonies are actually growing anymore um, as the Dutch kind of colonized New Guinea and ever since then our colonies have kind of stopped growing. Heavenly Kingdom has started the Taiping Rebellion against the Great Xing. The government is contested at 58. But that's an improvement from, or it was at 52, which is kind of funny then that, you know, we're more contested, we're, we have more support, but we have a higher and higher amount of radicals. Um, again, restricted child labor. Okay, compulsory primary school. I, I do think I'll go there. I do think children need to go to school to try to get an education. I feel like that's going to help the society. So we did get our uh, sulfur mine built. 60 weeks for the chemical play, which is about a year away. The Great Shig have declared the Heavenly Kingdom to be their rival. Again, the United States and Mexico and the Confederacy are all just kind of... I don't know, allowing this weird mess to happen in North America. Um, I don't even see the heavenly... Is this the heavenly kingdom? No, that's a great... Oh, there's the heavenly kingdom. I look in the wrong place. Uh... Importing... Oh, God. Really? Okay. Um, the import of luxury clothes for Great Britain was unproductive. That's going to be a problem. We have 31 convoys. Can we get silk anywhere? I'm looking for silk. There it is. Okay. Nothing that... In any amount, no. Okay. Um... I don't, know. I don't think we'll be able to make luxury clothes without silk, um, obviously, and uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know what else to do with that. Um, we're, we have almost achieved the population in Alto Paraguay that it wanted. Uh, the sulfur mine in Antofagasta. Well, right now, it's not making any money because there's not a demand for the sulfur. So that's, you know, the chemical plant here in Ica, who has a population of about 600,000. The pause is growing. You get nine and a half thousand each. Nine and a third, nine and a half. But La Paz is just 28 a year. I mean, again, just a... Crazy Great British or a native of crazy diplomatic play against Odg. I probably mispronounced, sorry. Um, 
But yeah, I, I think essentially what I'm going to do is I am going to just kind of go down here and build. All rural buildings and the pause because, simply put, um, we have so many people. Like, it, it is just, and we'll do a government building as well. We have so many peasants in the pause that it, it's just 291,000. And we are just gro massively growing our population, which is good, right? It's good, it's a good thing. Really join our customs union? No, negative 31. Argentina. Okay, so Argentina will take a trade agreement. It will cost 50 um, influence. So we are going to start a trading agreement with Argentina. This is good. This is good. Oh, we got a war in Central America. Who is this? Costa Rica. Radical Costa Rica against Costa Rica, I guess. Okay. Uh, let's see. The Argentinian market, they need grain. They have clothes, so that's big. Um, they also have dye. They have fruit. They have hardwood. They have sugar as well. Um... They don't have any luxury furniture. They have a few engines. Okay, so... Mm, clothing. Right, we can get level 3, 33 clothes. Ex right, these are import trade routes, right? Yep. Um, which will give... Change our price from 37 to 34 and change their price from 21 to 28. So we will definitely do that. Ah, go away. Man. Um, sorry. Is this kind of frustrating there? Um, fruit again, Argentina. Okay, you know, it's not really gonna, it's gonna help us a little bit, but not a lot. Um, again, the Argentinian market. They've got a lot of meat. Um, I don't know that we really have anything that they need. Chilean market. They've got a lot of tobacco. They've got a lot of meat, they need tools, they don't have groceries. Uh. And we do have a trade agreement with New Granada. They've got a lot of sugar, tobacco, fruit. Increase immigration was successfully completed. We cannot import fruit from... I don't see them, though. Okay. Anyways. So we got some trade going on with Argentina. Again, mostly importing, unfortunately. Um, but... And it did help out with the fruit. We do need tobacco as well. Need everything. Um, negative 63 tools. Negative 63 tools. What are we on feel? Alright, plus 3 steel. Uh, Bessemer process, we would need 20 more iron and we'd produce 25 steel. 
How much iron do we have? We're at eight. Okay, so we can do. We can. We can almost do that. Oh wait. Because where's our? Right, we would need 40 more steel and co complete 40 more tools. Hmm. I thought it would not quite. Alright. It would not quite get us there. But that's what we're going to do is we're going to... Go down here. We will do the automation. We'll go to the water tube boiler. Well, but we don't have tools, so no, we won't. We're gonna go to the Bessemer process. We'll produce more stool, steel, not stool, steel. Sorry. Um, and then we'll go up here. We'll go to steel tool. Forty iron. Forty more steel. And then 40 more tools. The British Raj no longer has interest in the Andes. And then I think in the pause, yeah, we're going to have to build another... Uh, workshop. And then we're going to have to probably expand our steel mill. Because we are just so short on tool. The good news is we're almost caught up on wood. Um, can we? All right, we've got a lot of fish. The Chilean market. I mean, it lightly improves our people. Um, meat, I don't think we're going to have anything we can trade. I mean, yeah. The leader of the industrialist has retired slash died. But yeah, I just, I feel like well, we're, we're not going to get this convoy for a long time. The sulfur mine will become more productive as soon as we can get the chemical plant. Well, and then the other good news, I think we'll get rid of a couple of our logging camps because, um, and we'll get rid of that, the, um, livestock ranch for right now. But the good news for us is that because of, nah, I lost my train of thought. Oh, right, because of Ecuador being part of our customs union. The revolution in Indonesia is we don't, or we don't have the shortage of wood that we used to have. Now, we're still short, or lumber, right? Negative 25. But it's not anywhere nearly as bad as it used to be. So, with that, 
we're, we're going to be able to... Wow, we already have a plus 100 on the on the grain. That's interesting. That's interesting. When did that happen? Uh, we can export a little bit to Chile and Granada, but not really enough to be like beneficial. That is really interesting. I did not. I did not know that that was a thing. So our market's really kind of taking on a new life of its own in a lot of ways. Um, about 7.5 million GDP, about 40% literacy, 11.5 standard of living, 5.5 million. Again, things are looking pretty good, right? Things are looking pretty, pretty good, and... It's just we don't have tools, we don't have a lot of the things we need. Um, Bluvian... Where, where is this? Yeah, Peruvian, Bolivian, Juje. Alright, so we're gonna need a railway. And... Motor industry, we would need steel. And we will put that in the pause. And we're 37 weeks away here on the iron mine. Which we're just at negative 10. We're at negative 11 steel right now. Oh, did we, we, did we get the... We did. We got the... Um, chemical plant. Alright. So let's go in here to our chemical plant. Um, hello. Hello. Okay, so we need 10 iron and 30 sulfur to produce 90 fertilizer. Alright, so what we can do with that, since we... Um, the productor of the sulfur mines of Antofagasta has recovered, paving the way for either increased wages, dividends, or both. So, we did get that. We're also increasing the GDP. Which we want to get up to a 9.28 million. Well, and really what we're trying to do is we're going to close that down. We're going to close this down. Is where is our, sorry, roll. Yep, there we go. Our farms. All right, we can take 30 more fertilizer for 105 grain. We can do 20 fertilizer for 70 more grain. Our maize farms. We did 15 fertilizer for 60 more grain, right? Basically, we're going all in on trying to produce as much grain as we can. All right, which we now have 408 grain. We are not a significant producer of grain, right? Um, we produce about one... How much do we make? Um, Alright, 1.8 thousand. We can send two to the... Some to New Grenadine Market. 9.5 to an employee annually. And we can send a little bit to Chile. And a little bit to Argentina. So we've got three small grain exports going on. 
again, you know, our trade routes are starting to really pick up. Um, we can get rid of this grain import from France. We do have a large grain import still from the Confederacy, which we will keep, but um, we do have a good amount of grain now that is going to be produced. All right, trade routes 220 is going out, so. That should be helping the grain farmers. And then we're also going to be building, of course, this food industry here soon. Um, which will also help our people. 40% literacy now. 5.56 million. We have 19 weeks for an iron mine. Again, iron... We are negative 20 on, so we definitely need that negative 40 on fertilizer. That is, that, that is something. All right, so can we increase our fertilizer output? Improve fertilizers in the chemical plants. We would need 20 more iron and we produce 50 more fertilizer. Um, wow. So yet, the, the, the short answer there is yes, we can do that. We will build another iron mine in Ica. Right, they have... Yeah, they have the population and the... Infrastructure to take it. But again, we just, we need iron. tooling workshop All right we do we need a lot of iron restore child labor law has been disbanded yeah that's good because we're not we're not doing that Nine weeks remaining on the one iron mine. Again, we have a lot of fish, we have a lot of gold, we have a lot of fabric, and we have a lot of grain. Negative 19 iron, negative 30 tools, negative 77. I mean, again, we're just, we're negative at a lot. I mean, it's, it's almost a situation where it would be a bit more beneficial to say what we don't, what we're positive on is we're building some more coffee with our industrialists. Which were, we already have a little bit extra. So, I'm not entirely sure why they chose that, but, you know, it's what they chose. It's what they chose. I don't know why they are, um, if we owe them an obligation. We are going to improve our relations with Paraguay. Well, okay, revolutionary Paraguay. Okay, we can do a trade agreement. will be agreed to by Uruguay. It will cost 50 influence so 
the leader of the armed forces has died slash retired. Uruguay accepts, so... They have coffee, they... Okay, they could use some grain. They have a few engines, they have a little bit of coal. Alright, so... Where are we on ours? 320, right, so... We have unlocked central baking, harnessing and centralizing the banks brings an immense amount of power into the hands of the government. 10% minting, negative 2% loan interest rate. Uruguay, they just want 10, I'll take 3 convoys, and I mean, it's really not much, but it gives, again, it gives us a trade deal with Uruguay. Great Britain signed a peace treaty with Adga, which ends hostilities with them. Socialism is now spreading in Peru, Bolivia. I don't like that. Um, not a fan of that. Well, our iron mine was built, so we're on our food industry, which is a little over a year with 63 weeks. So we should start to see iron. Yep, there we go. Plus 34 iron. Gonna start to creep back up. Eh, we'll build the iron mine first. Paraguay is starting to damage our mutual relations. Just Okay, we'll stop improving our relations then, and you know what, we'll declare a rivalry with Paraguay. Do they have... They have 1.1 million. Okay, they got three iron mines. They have some sugar plantations, logging camps, they have six, five banana plantations. They do have three iron mines. Do they have any? They have a rivalry with us. And they're trying to improve their relations with... Who are they trying to improve relations with again? Chile. Chile, who is our... Um... Okay, so we can start bankrolling Argentina. Oh, this is interesting. We can start bankrolling countries now. Okay, so... If we started to bankroll... Let's start... We're going to bankroll Argentina. We transfer 2.8 thousand pounds from Peru, Bolivia to Argentina each week. Um, has a 0.2% chance each week to generate or resolve an obligation for the bankrolling country. Relations increase every 33 days if no other relations are at work. Okay. So we are starting... Portugal declares Spain to be their rivalry. Spain declares them to be a rival. And... Yeah, why can we not... Why can't we... Why 
Why can't we do this? Um, we are already fighting in a war. No, we're not fighting. What? This stupid war. Chile, end your war. Oh my god. How is this war still going on? I forgot that that war was even a thing. But apparently it is. Um. Freaking chilly, man. Right. What would bankrolling them cost us? 3.4 thousand every week? I don't want to bankroll everybody. We're bankrolling you. I, I, I would have thought that that would... have helped. Our GDP is actually decreasing right now. That's not good. Um, It's snowing here in Iowa again, which is just fan freaking fantastic. It just... I... Uh, I mean, I like snow. Don't get me wrong. I like snow, but... Um... But, you know, it is almost April. I am tired of snow. Winter needs to end. Spring needs to get here. Enough of this. Got him. It's past ridiculous right now that it's still snowing like this. Um. So I was gonna try to conquer Paraguay, but since Chile will not end their win their war um, against uh, uncolonized local population down in the southern tip of South America, I can't declare war on. You know, try to start a diplomatic play against Paraguay. It's just ridiculous. Thirty-four weeks remaining until our first kind of grocery store or food industry is online. Again, our, our supplies are starting to get better. They are starting to improve. Standard of living is almost up to 12. We're somehow still short on sulfur. Uh, we are short on coal as well. Is there any way we can improve our coal production? Oh, we don't have explosives. Okay, so once we get explosives... We can produce more coal. So, the problem with that. Is we would produce less fertilizer. So we need the fertilizer we have. Because we're already short fertilizer. So eventually, we'll, we will be able to. Produce the explosives. Um, again, so our food industry is going to produce groceries for our people. Uh, sweeteners will take sugar, we have baking powder, um, canneries which will take iron. Sugar can also be used to create liquor. I think we're short on... A little short on wine. And we're a little short on dye. 
The rotary valve engine has been unlocked. The rotary valve engine is a steam engine with various additions, such as its variable valve timing. These additions make it much more heat efficient than the standard steam engine. It works for furniture manufacture, tooling workshops, paper mills, steel mills, motor industries, arm industries, and munition plants. So the rotary valve engine. Tooling. So let's take a look and see what that does for our tooling workshop. I mean, for the automation, I would I would imagine the automation. Increases the output, but it doesn't it doesn't tell me. France has taken on Australia's national debt. Uh, what I really want to get done is I really want to get the food industry built and then. I mean, we have the iron. Right, we have plus 42 iron right now. So, to go into our chemical plant, improve fertilizer, it would take 20 more iron, plus 50 fertilizer, we can do that. Right, and then we can go in here the ammonia soda, soda would increase 15 less fertilizer with 20 explosives. Oops, we have a event. Against the odds, despite not enjoying full rights under Peruvian Bolivian law, some wealthier Grani people begin moving into neighborhoods and frequenting establishments they would normally be excluded from. If we want our children to have a future, this is where we should raise them. He said I want them to live somewhere safe. She crossed her arms. Have you seen the looks we get? What people talk about safe, they don't mean for us, they mean from us. They have earned their success with what all it entails. So the Catholic Church of the Petit Bourgeoisie gets segregation and eroding for five years, but that's fine. I, I, so we've lost the be fruitful and you know multiply modifier from the Catholic Church because they're not quite as happy. But it should also hopefully decrease the amount of radicalization our people are facing because of discrimination. So. I'm going to try to do... Is if we... Okay, so let's see. Where are we with the fertilizer now? Still negative 65. Okay. So we're not going to do that. Because we obviously still really need the fertilizer. Although... Yeah, I don't know. That's weird. I would have thought that that would have made a bigger difference. But obviously not. Okay, so we're going to have to build another chemical plant. Um, yes, thank you. Finally, you guys accept peace. Man, that took you forever, Chili. So Paraguay, I hate to I hate to say this, but yeah, we are gonna start a conquered play. They have nine. They have nineteen battalions. Wow. And we've got thirty-two. What or what are their um, barracks at? I doesn't say. Okay, artillery support and line infantry. What are we at? We're at okay skirmish infantry. We we would need ammunition. I think we have artillery support as well. Yeah, so we're the same in terms of our technology, unfortunately. Uh,
So I have to think about that. We do have the adva we do have the advantage in terms of manpower. We have the same technology though. And is it worth it? Like again, they have the three iron mines. Iron is definitely important. But we have a lot of iron. You know, so in that regard You know, we already have plus twenty two iron. We're gonna build another iron mine here coming up. So I don't know that iron is, you know, critical for us. So I don't know. That, that that that's a tough one. So we have one week away. I'm very excited. Our food industry building is almost built. Um, Bill cannot do anything there. Bill cannot do anything there. I, I don't mind bankrolling um, Argentina. The Spanish Philippines are improving our relations. Like. Yeah. But I, I don't think our colonies are growing. Oh, now they're growing again. Okay. They weren't growing, but now they are, apparently. I don't know. Maybe they always have been, and I just didn't leave it, let it hover over there long enough. But at the same time, it would be nice to get that million people. You know, we're already, we're 30th in the world population-wise, although our GDP is up to 20, it's still at 22nd. Um, so let's take a look at our food industry building. Hello. Hello. Okay. So if we go to sweeteners, we would... Uh, produce 20 more groceries, and we need 15 more sugar. Baking powder, we would need 40 more grain and 30 more sugar. Well, we've got 355 grain. We only have 27 excess sugar, though, at the moment. So, pot stills. We would create 60 liquor. And if we did canneries, we would produce 30 more groceries, 10 more iron, 30 more fish. I think we'll do canneries. Because I believe, yep, we've got the fish, we've got the iron, I know. And then what we'll also do is we'll go here for patent stills. We don't need 100 liquor. But we will also do that and then I think we'll also try to do sweeteners right so we, we might be a little bit short on sugar but we should have liquor we should have groceries um, right because liquor we're currently negative 20 um, we're exporting it to Chile. That's interesting. But alright, anyways, that is where we are going to end the episode. It is 1885. We are building another iron mine. We are... You know what? Chile will ally with us. We are going to start a diplomatic play against them. Oh, we need a general. Uh, we'll go from La Plata. Esteban de Velasco. Que Jorge Guimara is reckless. A pillager will then expert and a defensive strategist. He's direct, a defensive strategist, supply expert, and experienced offensive planner. We will uh, we will recruit Esteban de Velasco. Uh, I 
and we will mobilize him. All right, as he can, he can command. We will promote him to Major General. Negative five bureaucracy plus three percent interest group political strength. Twenty regular. Yeah. He is a major general. How does he? Wait, what? Oh. So because we recruited him in the wrong location, apparently. Um, we can't. Oh, that was dumb of us. The electric telegraph through the use of simple electric pulses. The messages can be rapidly transmitted through codes across vast distances. Officers at stuffy office can send commands to armies on the far side of the world instantaneously. What have God wrought? Negative 25% war exhaustion from casualties. So I guess I need a general here, and we'll go with Juan Antonio de Santa Cruz, who's cautious, supply expert, pillager, and a bandit. Although Jose Miguel de la Santa Cruz. The landowner is will command twenty four battalions. The knowledge of the ironclad is starting to spread to us. And we will mobilize and have him advance the front. I would I it'd be nice if I could move him to a different headquarters, but I don't know if I can. But anyways, that is where Argentina declares themselves to be neutral, again, between us and Paraguay. Oh my goodness. That did not take long, we're already at war. Well, um, I was expecting the war to take a longer time to kick off. Uh, so we're, at, we're, we're, we're not prepared. This is probably going to go horribly, but all right, everybody, thank you, thank you, everybody for watching, and until next time, I am Stuart, hope you're all doing well, and I will talk to you all later.